Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk about something that's not going to be very popular, and as far as popular opinion goes, I'm not for that. Uh, you end up falling victim to ashes conformity if you have to spew the same popular opinion over and over and over again. Uh, today's video is just going to be to give you something to think about. Um, and I'm trying to put myself in the elite's shoes, and I'm trying to look at it from their perspective. Uh, every now and then you have to do that in order to see what the game plan is. When it comes to Ebola or any virus or bacteria with potential of wiping out a large percentage of the population, you are going to have to look at it in two different ways. Uh, number one, the ACE card, which would be actually giving you a vaccine that would work. And that would be to get rid of the truthers and the nonconformists, because they know, if you think about it, they have to know that you and I exist and that you and I are not going to take the vaccines. I'm not telling you to take the vaccines. I'm not going to take the vaccines. But I'm telling you that if they wanted to get rid of the people who were nonconformist, they would give you a vaccine that worked. Of course, the ACE card would be tainting that vaccine with thimerosal or another form of chemical lobotomy and that would mean that the only people who were left would be slaves complete slaves complete mindless robotic slaves um, you know it's uh, it's the ace card they, they can't lose with this and there are quite a few people out here who are saying take this take that put a mask on your face etc etc I'm here to tell you that that's not going to work. It's not going to work because of the method that they are going to end up using. Now it may not be with Ebola, but they will end up using this method one day. Uh, the Guidestones, have you ever heard the saying, it's written in stone? It's written in stone. It's going to happen. When? I have no idea. This would be the perfect opportunity, in my opinion, for them to do that. Even though we've only really had one confirmed case in the United States, it may not go any further than that. Um, I'm kind of hoping it doesn't, but if it does, uh, what you need to realize is, is that, that they will spread this via aerosols, and they've done this before. This is not going to be the first time they've done this. Using a mainstream article, uh, we can very clearly see that they've done this in the past, and they are going to do it again. History repeats itself. Uh, this is uh, an article uh, talking about the San Francisco and Virginia Springs of aerosols, as well as a few other places like Minneapolis, um, St. Louis, where they have sprayed aerosols, uh, releasing clouds containing supposedly harmless bacteria from Navy ships off of Norfolk, Virginia in 1950 in April and in San Francisco off the coast in September of 1950 and they've done this already and there's people out here talking about well if they put vac uh, viruses or bacteria in these chemtrails they will die because of UV degradation well we've already seen that that's not true their own studies and their own uh, declassified uh, operations are telling us to our face that they've already done this and it's very likely that they'll do it again uh, especially if they want to get the uh, humanity down to a reasonable or a quote unquote reasonable number in their eyes. A reasonable number is a more controlled number, obviously. They want to control us. Um, but this has been going on for, you know, <laughs> decades. And if, if, you know, if there are people out here who are telling you that it's not possible and yet the government themselves are telling you that it is possible and that they've done it, then there is a problem with those people. They are lying to themselves to make themselves feel comfortable. So when you talk about putting a mask on your face uh, to prevent this, it's insane. The... The uh, aerosols will they will get to you one way or the other. You'll either step outside and get it rubbed on you somehow, or you'll touch something that has it on it, or the the aerosols themselves. I mean, your 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 little face mask is not going to prevent 
little particulates. It's just not. They're designed for things like uh, large amounts of rust or sandblasting or you know things of that nature. They're not designed to handle things of the microscopic level, uh, which is in fact uh, the bacteria and viruses. So when I say it's an ace card, it's because you know you can't win. There is no winning. Uh, some people will be naturally immune to Ebola. Some people are naturally immune to HIV and AIDS. And some people were naturally immune to the Black Plague. All throughout history, there has been certain genetics that have been immune to uh, the, d the disease naturally. They didn't need a vaccine. And if anything, we know uh, here that vaccines have killed more people than the actual uh, virus or uh, disease itself. Uh, I think there was 11 times more people who died from a uh, swine flu vaccine than actually died from the swine flu. And of course the fact that the US government holds the patent on Ebola is not helping the situation out at all. Um, I'm not saying that it was on purpose. It could have very well been an accidental leak. Uh, and they're just trying to contain it. It could be. Um, but I don't think so. That's just my opinion. I think they know fully well what they're doing. And um, if they wanted to, they could very easily just put this in the mix of the quote-unquote chemtrails. I think we're going to have to look at them as biological trails as well, not just chemical trails. Um, they could very well just throw that in the mix and it's a game over. There, There is no fighting that. You either are immune or you're not. You either have the vaccine that works or you don't. Uh, but the ace the ace card would be the fact that you and I and just about anybody who's listening to this channel or Alex Jones or uh, just about anybody else out there, you're not going to get your vaccine. And they know that. They know you're not going to. They know you're fully against the vaccines. That could be their ace card to getting rid of nonconformists and those who don't wish to be slaves. But the ace card, of course, is when they taint the vaccines with something that causes a chemical or a biological lobotomy. They're going to win, regardless. There is no way out of this. Um, if you, if you want to think uh, like uh, Alex Jones and think that you can beat this, that's fine. But if you want to think like an elite, you'll know that there is no way around it. You are going to die when they tell you to. And that's basically uh, how it is. There's no way around that. I'll leave a link to this uh, article so you can go and read it for yourself and spread the article to people who are naysayers. The uh, people who don't believe in these aerosol springs. And the potential of these aerosol springs. Because they could very easily spray us tomorrow. Or they could have already sprayed us. If there's an incubation period of 21 days, we're not going to know. Uh, for at least a couple more weeks So uh, this is just a heads up. It doesn't matter if you stay inside all day It doesn't matter if you wash your hands. It doesn't matter if you use bacterial fighters or fungus fighters or whatever you want to use It doesn't matter. It's not going to help If they want to get in your home, they'll get in your home. Your home is not airproof so it's just giving you guys something to think about because, you know, there's a lot of people out here talking like they can just beat this with uh, with plants and whatnot. And it's just not going to happen. Not with this. Not with anything they put in the aerosol. You can't defeat that with a mask. It's not going to happen. And one more thing I want to cover while I'm on the subject of chem slash bio trails is the barium that they're putting in these chemtrails or biotrails and the reason for the barium because we know that there is barium as well as aluminum in these trails. Uh, barium is used by the medical industry to absorb radiation uh, before a CAT scan. So before you have a CAT scan or a CT scan of the gastrointestinal region they will make you drink a barium sulfate suspension which absorbs the radiation. So for those of you who are claiming that the bacteria or viruses would die because of UV degradation, ultraviolet radiation, um, 
they've already be, they've already found a way to counter that, uh, and they've been they put that into practice a long time ago. So anyways guys, this is just a heads up. This is why they do what they do and it's pretty obvious once you start looking into it. Thanks for listening and uh, sorry if you think I'm a fear monger but I'm just telling it like it is.